You really believe in miracles, don't you? You came, didn't you? I was on my way to Fort Jackson and... You just keep believing. Mr. Lane, I've never met a man of violence before. And yet, you're so gentle. Afraid there's some folks who wouldn't quite agree with you. Oh, I know you killed. But... Why don't I fear you? Better get on back with the others. You're too tempting a target. Bronco. That's a strange Christian name. When I was a young'un, I had some Indian friends that taught me how to tame wild horses. They pinned the name on me. From them, you learned violence. From them, I learned many things, especially how to protect myself with a gun, a knife, or a bow and arrow. When a rattlesnake comes at you, you kill it, even if it's disguised as a man. I'll pray for you. I'm obliged. I'll back you up with this. Mr. Lane. This cabin. A man behind you on the rock. Mm -hmm. What do you suggest I do? Shoot! You all right? What happened? Dooley found a way to get behind us. I took a shot at him. He may be wounded. Where are you heading? A man may be lying up there dying. You show yourself on that rock and they'll pick you off from below. I may be needed. Stop him, Ben. His will is mine. You're staying put. I'll cover you best I can. Is that as I wish? Kind of jumpy, ain't you? Ah, he's gone. I as good as had him. I got a real nice surprise for you. Know who that cowpoke is? Bronco Lane. So? I never heard of him. Well, you just stick that big, fat face a little bit too far above that rock and you're gonna hear of him. Well, you're doing a lot of talking. Why didn't you take care of him? Dirk. Dirk. He's burning up with fever. I gotta get him to a dock. While we're waiting for them to run out of water, you're running out of a brother. <laughs> 